Guinea-Bissau. Firefight between Guinea-Bissau and Presidential Guard and National Guard. After several hours of exchanges of gunfire between the National Guard and the Presidential Palace Battalion in the Guinea-Bissau and capital Bissau, beginning on Thursday night, National Guard Commander Colonel Victor Chongo and some elements of the National Guard's Rapid Intervention Brigade were arrested on Friday morning, December 1st, 2023. At approximately 10 p.m. on Thursday, National Guard elements entered the Judicial Police Station armed with AK-47 rifles and rocket-propelled grenades and removed the Minister of Economy and Finance, Suleiman Saidi, and the Secretary of State for the Public Treasury, Antonio Montero, who were in police custody on suspicion of embezzlement. As reported by O. Democrata, starting at around 1.20 a.m. on Friday, gunshots could be heard for several hours near the headquarters of the Rapid Intervention Brigade of the National Guard. After Chongo turned himself over to Special Forces, Saidi and Montero were found in the National Guard barracks safe. An Army spokesman later declared that the situation was under control. One soldier from the National Guard and one from the Presidential Battalion reportedly died during the firefight. While in police custody on Thursday afternoon, a team from the Commission of Inquiry of the Anti-Corruption Office questioned Saidi and Montero about why they made $10 million in payments from state funds to 11 private sector companies. As mentioned by AFP, Saidi and Montero, quote, were questioned by the judicial police on instructions from the prosecutor general appointed by the president, unquote. The presidential battalion answers to President Umaro Sisoko Mbalo, while the National Guard answers to the Interior Ministry. Mbalo, who survived a coup attempt in February 2022, is currently in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, attending the UN's COP28 Climate Change Conference.